Okay, let's have a look quickly at the throttle quadrant upgrade project. The primary goal of this project was to achieve smooth throttle lever movement. I had the throttle levers motorized before, that means that they were moving um, when all the throttle was engaged. However, the power of this service which I used was not sufficient, and during takeoff, um, as you hold the throttles and all the throttle moves, the levers, I could easily hold them back just by weight of my hand. Now, otherwise, at certain angles, the movement was relatively jerky. To fix that, I bought two um, high quality digital servers, I believe they are somewhere around 30 kilograms of torque at uh, one centimeter fulcrum. So about there. Uh, I machined these small gears and modified the servers for continuous rotation, so more or less they act like DC motors. I'm not sure why I haven't used DC motors. I'm just more familiar with servers. And originally I just thought of upgrading from a previous server which I had to this server, but then I realized, well, I could just modify them for continuous rotation since I already took everything apart. Might as well do it. Could have used DC motors, but decided to go with servers since I bought them. I bought one for experiments, that worked, and then I bought the second one. Each one I think is about $100, so that is the most expensive part. Um, and like I mentioned before, they're about 30 kilograms of torque per centimeter. This is the old servo. It's bigger, but it's less power. That is another new addition. That one is used to actuate the speed brake lever, which is about here. Uh, there is a metal rod, metal connecting rod. Which I'll show you later, which comes right through here. And as the server moves, the lever can go up and down automatically. That is uh, that usually happens during uh, landing, right after landing or on a boarded takeoff. Um, that is actually the server motor which I used before to move the levers. And that was not sufficient. Now, with 30 kilograms uh, worth of torque on one centimeter, which is about here, you can imagine how easily it can move the levers. But the levers are big. So whilst you can have one, sorry, uh, whilst you can have 30 centimeters worth of torque here, you will have much less here. But then you have small gear here and much larger gear here. So that compensates. Now I have achieved very smooth uh, movement of levers. Um, I'm using an Arduino, which I programmed myself to control that. It's a simple PID controller, which a PID controller program which it runs to move the servers, well I should say, move the levers by controlling the server speed in whichever direction it needs to turn to achieve the desired set point for the levers. So if if the simulator wants the levers here and they are currently here, Arduino will command the servers to move the levers until they reach that particular set point. So, there will be two Arduino boards. Uh, one will actually be sufficient. I was surprised for such a small price how much you can actually get done with one of these boards. The only thing I ran out of was the connections on it. Just barely not enough. I would need another two or three and that should be sufficient, but not enough on, the, uh, on this particular model of Arduino, so I'm going to use just two of these. Five bucks each. Very good. And here is the top part of the throttle quadrant. As you can see, it's well somewhat dismantled now. There is another part somewhere out there. Anyway, that's the that's the part with the flap handle on them. Right, so this is the that metal rod which I was talking about, which connects to the speed brake, which is right there. Speed brake lever right there, which is then actuated by this metal rod, which is moved by the servo. Now I machined these gears to match the smaller gears, so they mesh well. And pretty much that is it. Now in the final stages of uh, reassembling it all, it looks like shit now, pardon my language. But, well, give it a few hours I guess, and everything will be back to normal.